Okay guys, doing these heads, aftermarket heads. I bought these bare, Speedmaster. I've run into a few issues with them. I finished the gasket match. They did a preliminary. Not very good, so I opened it up. Not nice and clean like the Edelbrox, but uh, it just wasn't in the pocketbook for the expensive ones. Another thing is, is buy them bare. These valves are much better than what these come with. These are actually the Edelbrock valves. They fit perfectly. And another thing you don't want to do is you don't want to just throw them in. I had a issue where we put a valve, one of the valves in. You could shine a light up the port. Saw a light coming out. Did a quick, quick lapping. Pull this one out and show you. You can see, look at that line. Nice, neat line right in the middle of the valve face. That's what you want to see. And on the valve, you can see exactly where it seats. I don't know if this is coming up, but nice gray uniform seat. After we did that on the one valve, only one valve did that. I think there was probably a bit of schmutz there holding the valve open. I don't know. And uh, that took care of that. Another issue I've had is uh, now I'm on a time crunch on this engine. So. I had to do it came mat style that and I'm after paying 1700 bucks just to get my block and crank and rod done I didn't have any stomach for paying somebody now the washers that they were sent with this engine Didn't even fit in the pockets around the valves here hand me one of them babies Here you got one of those washers that came with this thing. They're over there in that little baggie. Let's just show you and They were just a, wa a flat washer. This is what they give you also, the guides. After reading reviews and talking to one uh, Oldsmobile guru at a place that sells parts for Oldsmobile, told me, get those guides out right now. Do not waste your time. You will regret it. And I looked online, and sure enough, a couple reviews of people buying these heads said the same thing. The guides wear out instantly. And in Bill Travato's book, he mentions... Uh, head like this a pro comp or a speedmaster all the same thing really uh, Mentioned weird valve guide wear That is what came with the head It did not fit the pocket Wow, that's an awful big hole they give you too. So I go and I measure online now if anybody does this What I didn't realize was the outside dimension was for the valve not the cup itself so what i had to do i had to machine around by hand with a dremel and a small cutter carefully i did scar up the seat area but it's not really severe it's not going to affect it and the, of course the machining is not exact but it is just holding this cup in place on here these fit in there now and the springs fit on there but I had to do that so do not just go and throw these things on just my thoughts they're not bad the casting's pretty good I've cleaned these up like I said I semi polished the combustion chambers they're not a mirror finish they still got a bit of texturing in there but I just took the majority off I clearanced around the valves on the edge of the combustion chamber, which opened them up a bit, lose a little compression, and that's okay, I'm fine with that. For the, what my intended purpose of this engine, hell, if I, if I can uh, now run 87 and 7 buying a premium gas, that's good. This is not for a rocket ship. It's for a big torque application in a big GMC motorhome. So that's my thoughts on the Speedmaster heads. Plan on work, folks.